Okay, now, once you've actually done this part, right, and once you've actually got this done, let me click over here, right, just like that, all right. And what I need to do is, the reason why I'm clicking on this um, spark line is because you need to bring up what's called the chart data pane. Now, you can do it by just right-clicking and bringing it up that way, but what I'm gonna do is I double left click until it comes up and you guys see this is our chart data pane, right? What it's doing over here is this is saying for the spark line, these are, this is how I want the values to appear and this is how I want the values to be grouped. So at the very beginning, you can think of it this way. Whenever I say values, which is what we're gonna do first, when I choose values, I'm choosing, I'm choosing how high I want these little bars to go, right? So what's gonna represent the relative proportion, right? Or what's gonna represent the relative proportion of say whatever quantity I have, like in this case, sales. So let me click plus right over there and let me click on sales. And this means that the higher the bar, the more sales were actually made. So you guys see what I mean? That's what, that's what happens whenever you click values. Now on the next part over here, I'm going to click, I'm going to come down to series groups right over here. And I need to figure out something else too. Even though I've figured out the height, I also need to know um, what's going to be on the X axis, right? So for example, does every single cell um, represent one day? And in fact, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose sales date so that each and every single one of those bars represents a day. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to click on category groups right over there. And I'm going to add sales date. So there we go right over there. So now I've got it grouped by sales date over here. Okay. Now just to see what we did, I'm going to left click just in this blue space to make that disappear. Then I'm going to come up over here and I'm going to click run. And look at that. Look at that. That's a spark line. Now that doesn't look too significant. Actually, to be honest with you guys, it isn't. <laughs> First, it's not proportional. Okay, here's the idea. An executive should be able to look at this, right, or a decision maker, and they should be able to instantly be able to tell and ignore all this stuff. This is not going to be so precious to them at this stage. What they're looking for instead is they're looking over here and they're thinking about this and they're looking at it and they're going, huh, this is interesting. So these are sales by the product right over here. Okay, now there's just one little problem. In the report, and I noticed inside of this demo, we have not labeled the sparkline category. That's a huge no-no in real life. This has to be labeled so that, your, so that your decision makers instantly know what it means. So let's go back and do that first, not inside the lab step, so follow me here and do this with me. I'll click design. And what you always do is you always give it a good name like this. Total sales by product. See how that makes sense now? There. Now let me come back over here and click on run again. There we go. Now that is a lot better. Now I can actually see what's happening right over here, right? So there's my total sales by every single product. Now I could have just set total sales too and that would have been fine. But I could, have, I could have put that down, or I could have set total sales by date, or total sales over there, but they'll get the point. And now you see over here, here's the point. So we see over here that we can see that for the first date for this product, right, we had a low amount of sales. Now look, on this date, over here, we had a very high amount of sales for this product. And on this date, we didn't quite get as many days. So, you know, you're looking at this, and that doesn't mean much over here. However, though, for a first quarter, an executive might notice that, you know what, this particular product carrying case, say that this had been a quarter of data, not just a date, this particular product is always selling higher during the first quarter. Perhaps now we need to start making certain, taking certain sorts of measures to make sure that inventory is stocked up well for that particular quarter. Whereas this product tends to sell better during this time, so perhaps that's when we should, that's when we should start sending it to stores. They can also see something else too though. If you look at this proportion, you can see that at first, Maybe you're looking at a product to see if it's growing or if it's going down. Down At first, this product started out very low, and then this product began to really peak. However, if you notice over here, now it's on a trend of going down again a little bit, although it's going up. Now, across five days or seven days of data like we have over here, that's almost meaningless. But across two to three quarters or across years of data, that's extremely meaningful. So you guys see the power of a spark line. It's one picture, and all they're doing is they're looking at this. They're not doing any mathematical calculations or anything like that, just one look and feel. But there's a little bit of a problem, and this is more of an SSRS thing than anything else. By default, your spark lines are not what they call aligned, which means this. The numbers are not in proportion. Now take a look over here just to see what I mean. Notice, just to get started over here, right, that on January the 8th, we have 10,400 as a value, right? 
Okay, so that's going to be the one, two, three, four, um, five, sixth value, right? But wait, one, two, three, four. That's the fourth value over here. That's interesting. Then let's look at something else over here. Coming back.